Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. This probably will not surprise you, but there has been psychological studies shown that if you take a teenager or a young adult and you bring them in on questioning for a crime that was committed, a crime that they had nothing to do with, that if you pressure them long enough and typically that long enough can be as little as 90 minutes, their brain starts to begin to think that they're guilty and something known as confabulation takes place. Confabulation is simply a fancy word for imagination that fills in missing details. This is the reason why eyewitness testimony can be kind of sketchy because maybe they didn't see all of it, but their mind fills in the details to take up those gaps and those voids. Now, what does all of this have to do with you and your fresh start in March? Well, the reason why it may not be working out for you the way that you've wanted it to is because there is an aspect of your personality that was blamed for something when you were younger. And even though it was not your fault, you still took responsibility for it. That part of you with your limited understanding at the age you were said, okay, yeah, you're right. It must be all my fault. And confabulation took place. In fact, this is rule number three on your very powerful mind, that imagination is more powerful than reason. In fact, any time that reason and analytics and data goes up against your imagination and its emotion, Your imagination, your emotion, and your feelings win every single time. It's not like, hey, 90%, 10%. No, every single time. So there's a part of you that took on responsibility that did not belong to you. And it's now under contract with with your life experience as an adult, this younger part of you is now under contract to keep showing up, to keep taking responsibility for things that never belong to it, and to keep finding ways to screw your life up. It's not your fault. You were programmed and conditioned for this. In my business, it is a unique area of a a specialty. It's known as parts therapy for inner conflict resolution. We all have these different aspects to us and they show up. You're one person when you're with your friends. You're one person when you're with your family. You're one person at work. These aspects of your personality show up based on triggers Oh my goodness, I forgot to tell you. Welcome to today's Five to Thrive, where we're talking about uh, empowerment versus uh, confabulation and how your mind made a story up for you to be guilty and then to find everything in your environment when it gets triggered to continue to be guilty. That's what it thinks its role is in your life. So realize it's not your fault, but that somewhere when you were a young adult, you took on the responsibility for something that was never yours. And until you have a conversation 
with this part of you and you make it aware that it no longer has to respond to life, that when the triggers happen, it actually turns you on at your very best. It releases this younger you from trying to figure out an adult world from a very immature place. Until that happens, you are going to continue to have self-sabotage. Okay, so what is it that you want to do today? Begin to look at your previous experiences where you were convicted of something that did not belong to you and start talking to that younger you and letting her or him know that they no longer have to show up this way. If you want more on this, go to drewdawnferguson.com forward slash live, as in live your dreams. You're going to see a very special class that I've put together for you. Okay, you can do this. I believe in you.